Where are you? What'd you do now? I have no idea. Yeah, You're, hi. You're in trouble. You're supposed to pretend it's not there. All right, I love you guys. Have a good one. Peace and hair grease. What'd you say about me? How many did you get done? What? How many past clients did you talk to today? I bomb bomb 35. How many did you call? Um, one. One? That's not a past, that doesn't count. I know. Because that's a current client. Dang it. Showed up, but she sucked today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay to skip. It's not okay. No, no it's, it's okay, okay to, to suck. suck. It's not it's okay, okay to skip. skip. However, if you're a really good accountability <laughs> partner, you would load. No, I'm just playing. Uh, I did that once. See you guys. <laughs> I walked in and he goes, wait a minute. And then he had an envelope on it. <laughs> Freshly signed deal. <laughs> We've got Tony Tone on the microphone and on the steering wheel. We're heading down to, uh, to Cork for a podcast with Innovative Health. Is it Innovative Health? Innovative. Yeah. So Innovative Health is... Uh, newer to the industry they just started their podcast last week tony tone was the first one on the podcast actually when you won first uh flint's best dressed or genesee county best dressed but um so i'm gonna do this podcast i it, the, the radio or the station's innovative health i'm sure they're gonna get into some health stuff which i'm happy to talk about got my one two three four water ready to go for them i actually only have one left to drink I'm well, Karen. Hi. Pleasure. Oh, what do we got going on here? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we pretend he's not here, yeah. but you can give him love though, oh, okay. and money. She's the publisher of Innovative okay. Health magazine, mm. so she's yes. my partner in crime. Awesome. Yeah. Now we oversee now Innovative Health, and we are Innovative Health Radio across the board. That's how we're being branded. I like it. So we want to do an article on you, on you, but what we had discussed on the angle, just so I want to say, is I know now your life, like your clean living and what you do. We'll touch base on that. Sure, but I want to include him because yeah. something he's the best be dressed. It's like you know, did but, you learn it from your partner? But there's something to working with. One of your, your best friends. You know what I mean? Oh, There's yeah, something yeah, yeah. to yeah. like surround yourself with the best people and your best So team. you guys are and best that's friends. Where the, well, they pretty, I, I don't yeah. want to put words in No, your mouth, I mean, I mean, I don't like being like well, I mean, we all have a couple, right? Tony is for sure one of my best friends. Right. Like it on your diet. Like we each want the other one to die first so right. that we so can speak at their, at their oh, funeral. Oh, yeah, you're hoping for that. Perfect. Yeah, well, and we're hoping for it in like 50 years. But let's talk about and then it's going to be like, no, you're dying tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's more than just not. It's more than just quit drinking, right? I mean, that, that's course. just like the, that's the catapult to everything else. But right. that started August 11th. And what prompted that? You just were ready. No, I was I was in Vegas, which is funny because everyone's like, oh, what happened that you quit drinking in Vegas? But I was, you know what I mean? Like, he was in a jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a gentleman speaking, a guy named David Goggins. I was there for real estate coaching. Okay. But, but uh, David just happened to be a guest. And, you know, David's a, David's a guy that uh, African American, grew up very poor, um, developed a huge weight problem, uh, self esteem problem. He said something, you know, he said, if you wrote your book, would it change someone's life? Okay. You know, and for me, you know, with my childhood and my background, you know, it's something that I've always thought about. We've discussed this, yep. yeah. And it's something that I've always known I need to do. And so I just I took that moment, I was like, I gotta quit, I gotta quit screwing around. Like I, in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'll probably quit drinking when I'm 55. And I'm like, hell am I gonna wait that long for? Right, Right. you just really had this big epiphany. Yeah, like yep. And, and so I went back to my room, I did 100 push-ups. That took about three hours. <laughs> Literally, that shit wore me out. And and then at that point, I just became instantly raw. In other words, like I left the convention in a suit. I came back in the clothes that I put on to do 100 push-ups, and I stayed in the rest of the convention in that clothing. Like I just didn't care anymore because it was just like, okay, screw it. And and the really crazy thing is, the very next little um, side room I went into for another coaching moment with kind of the top elite of the people that were, you know, it's a conference of 5,000, then you go into a room of 20 or 30. Okay, yeah. yeah. And 
there was a guy in there speaking, um, and I've never seen the guy in my life. No idea what, who he is. He was very well formed, and I'm looking at him I'm like, there's no way this guy drinks. Right. But I know he used to. Like it was really strange. And uh, and then you start to look around and you're like, you know, the hype, the highest performers in my life don't drink. All right, so this is why you gotta have a videographer all the time. We got a flat tire. You know what, and this ain't funny. You know the girl that I called yesterday about the truck? She goes, are you from Michigan? I goes, yeah, she says, we've had 13 calls in the last 10 minutes for potholes. To reach GM Roadside, say Roadside. Roadside. To make an appointment to take care of a recall, please hold while I transfer you to Roadside Assistance. Good afternoon, my name's Alice, and I may help you. Hi, Alice, this is Tony. How are you? Sir, how may I help you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm alive and well. We're calling because uh, we're in Michigan. We just hit a pothole and got a flat, and we're we need an emergency service. Yeah, we're in the hood. Sorry, sir. Okay, so just a minute there for the ca the Escalade. Yes. And your name is Tony. What's your last name, sir? John Wentworth. Let's go with John Wentworth. <laughs> okay. It to his, his last name is on the microphone, but his first name is Tony. My name is John Wentworth. I am the. Oh, thank you. I am the vehicle. Okay. I'm re put it this way: I'm responsible for the payment. I okay, would say so I can't say I'm the vehicle owner, but I'm responsible okay. for the payment. Exactly. Oh, look at that! Sir, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. So I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. I have to pee. Um, is there anywhere available? Well, there's a bush. But I mean, uh, but if you are going to get out of your vehicle, just do everything you can to keep yourself safe there, sir. I know, okay? but isn't it illegal? I I don't know uh, the area's laws around that. I, I would not be able to inform you about that. That's a good it's answer. For you. Good answer. <laughs> Al Sarah is here too to change the tire. All right, bye bye. Thank you. Perfect bye -bye. timing. Yeah, they're not messing around. I'm Steve from Al Sarah. Hi, what's up, brother? How are you? Tony, man. Nice to okay. meet you. I'm gonna get my so, is the object of, of it to make her laugh or for her not to laugh? Well, that's the same thing. No, are you trying to make her laugh? <laughs> yes. Or trying not to make her laugh? Or I'm trying to get her not to laugh? You got me you, laughing. Do you want her to laugh? Or yeah. You want to see how 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 long it would take her, or how if she doesn't laugh. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You, so, so, <laughs> like you're laughing. You did right. The, is the object to make her laugh? Yeah. Or to see if she won't laugh. I'm just gonna show her this video and she's gonna laugh. Oh, well, she probably will. <laughs> I'm laughing just thinking you're about her looking crazy. <laughs> We're the the object is to. Like if if you're telling me the joke, my object is to not laugh. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm telling you the joke to get you to laugh. Right. Okay. And then the other thing I thought would be funny, I told her what we should do is not even see each other beforehand and just show up wearing something crazy. All right, that's an automatic laugh. That's an automatic. Whoa, he's done already. Yeah. I'll bring it back out to you tomorrow. Okay. That's what I was gonna ask you. Yep. Okay. I gotta get some info from you. Okay. Me, he takes the tire in. Fix it. They do it all. Man. And bring it back to you. And probably going to put the other one back on. And you were going to give him a dollar. No, I'm playing. <laughs> and break him off a 20. God is good. When? All the time. And all the time. God is good. You can't sweat it. And all the time. God is good. Don't ever do that again. <laughs>